In addition to a variety of weekly public audiences, Pope Francis meets often with individuals, sometimes their old friends. Nearly every week, world presidents and prime ministers, kings and queens also come by. On May 28th, Pope Francis received the German Prince Alexander of Saxony, the Margrave of Mycenae, in audience. It touched him deeply. I saw him, I spoke a few words in Spanish, and immediately I could see that his smile was brighter than before, and we exchanged a few words, and I was very emotional because he's a very humble, a very charismatic, and very warm-hearted personality. When people are very uh, near to, let's say, to God, well, they lose uh, to, uh, the interest for materialistic things or maybe for world matters because they're so close to whatever could be the eternity. And this is what they transmit to people that are uh, dealing with them. And this is a wonderful feeling. Originally coming from Germany, the prince lives and works with his wife and four children in Mexico City. As is customary, he brought Pope Francis gifts. Uh, first of all, I introduced my family uh, one by one. Then I handed our presents over because we got some presents from Mexican uh, nuns. They painted pictures for him from the Virgin of Guadalupe. We got a book from the Down Syndrome uh, artists. And we ourselves, we bought a wonderful uh, representation of Maria de Guadalupe made by Indians of straw, painted straws. Uh, and he was very, very impressed by this, by this painting and he was very happy to receive the book of the Down Syndrome uh, artists. And we exchanged words about how to, to deal with those people and how could we help them. In July, Pope Francis will travel to the prince's adopted Latin America and expectations are high. And not only in Mexico, but in the whole of Latin America, we are fascinated to have our first Pope coming from a Latin country, well, let's say from a South American country. And we are fascinated by this fact, we follow whatever he is doing, and we are charmed by, by his appearance, by this uh, simple way of approaching people and being kind to elderly people, to children, uh, and we think he, he's a great leader. Paraguay, Bolivia and Ecuador will be welcoming His Holiness in July this year, where he'll be making an impression on the greater public and world leaders, just as he does in the Vatican.